Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible topics will be discussed and Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. For today's episode, we'll be looking at the question of, is it true that a relationship between a man and a woman that is consummated is unto death as to part? Let us answer this question in two parts. The Bible calls sexual relationships outside of marriage fornication. In Hebrews 13, verse 4, we read, Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but fornicators and adulterers God will judge. The marriage bed is good, and it is God-willed. But the fornicator's bed is sin, and those who practice such cannot go to heaven. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, Paul tells the Corinthians, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven? If you read through that list of what is unrighteous, fornication and adultery is in that list. We cannot practice those sins and go to heaven. The bed of fornication must end if we are to be acceptable to God because it's sin. Marriage, though, is not so. In Romans 7, we read at verses 2 and 3, For the woman which has an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he lives. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. So then, if, while her husband lives, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Romans uh, 7 verses 2 and 3 tells us God's design for marriage. It is to be for life. This goes hand in hand with what Jesus said in Matthew 19, 6, that's, that says, What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. From the beginning, it was God's design that if people marry, they marry for life. In Matthew 19, verse 9, Jesus gives only one exception for divorce. And that is if one of the spouses commit fornication, the other spouse can put them away for fornication and have the permission by God to remarry again. That's it. Otherwise, marriage is designed for life. Sadly today, though, men and women are disobeying Christ's words as divorce rates reach staggering numbers. Divorce leads to great unhappiness, as husbands and wives that once love each other abandon each other. Children who love both mother and father lose one or both of their parents. Friendships of families are broken up. Families lose much of their financial assets that they have worked together to build up, and the moral fabric of society is weakened. But the greatest unhappiness that divorce brings is separation from the favor of God. Marriage is God-created and God-given, and good for man. Do not be tempted by the world to think fornication is good or marriage is temporary. Remember, what God has joined together, let not man put asunder. If you are not a Christian listening today, the brethren here in Toronto would love to study the Bible with you so that you can hear the Word of God, believe it, and obey it before it is everlastingly too late. If you'd like to set up a study, you can send us an email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Searching the Scriptures has been brought to you by the East End Church of Christ, which meets at 3601 Victoria Park Avenue, Suite 200, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Our hours of service are Sunday at 10 a.m. for Bible study and 11 a.m. for morning worship, as well as Wednesday at 7 p.m. for midweek Bible study. If you have any Bible questions that you would like to have answered during this podcast, you may email them to Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. That's Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Finally, if you'd like to catch up on any episode that you missed, you will find them at www.eastendchurch.org under the podcast tab found on the main page. I hope you found the few minutes that we spent together today useful in expanding your knowledge of what the Bible teaches. Please join me, the Lord willing, tomorrow when we will be discussing another topic from God's Word. Until you listen again, keep searching the Scriptures to learn what God wants you to do. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.